this woman went to a hotel at 3.30 in the morning to find out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. She confronted him, and this is what happened. My name is Trey Wilkins. What can I change? I hope you enjoy. Now, the things that people will do, that I paid for a lawyer to get custody of his kids for him. This man, this man. There he is. Um, I did get out of my car um, after he closed her door. I got out of my car and I walked up to him. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what is this? Like, are you serious? And he's like, yo, this is my friend Val. Like, I'm just helping her out. And I'm like, oh, your friend? Cause you go to help your friend at a hotel at four o'clock in the morning. Okay. And he's like, yo, you're acting crazy. I'm gonna take her home. I said, not a problem. I'm gonna follow you. So I go to follow them. He runs a red light. It thankfully goes green on me. So I instantly follow him. He stops me in a neighborhood, gets out of his car and goes, yo, you're acting so crazy. Like you should really stop this. He gets back in his car and then she gets out of the car and she comes to my window and she goes, I don't feel comfortable with you knowing where I live. And I'm just like, are you joking? Like, I was like, can you just be like a girl for a minute and like respect girl code? Like that's my boyfriend. Savannah was mortified to have caught her partner with another woman and things only got more surprising from there. And she like stops me and she's like, your boyfriend? Like, that's your boyfriend. Like, you're his girlfriend. I was like, yeah, girl. You didn't see the photo in the dash, makeup on the floor, nail file in the freaking middle council. Come on. And he's like, come on, get in the car. And she like tells him to like STFU. And she's like, can you take me home? And she told me, I didn't know about you. You are considered the nanny at work. No one no one knows you exist he tells everyone that you're single she said if i would have known that that was your boyfriend i would have never have done that and I, I, can i believe her i don't know but she did like start to cry and she was like i'm so sorry like i feel nasty like don't let him gaslight you like he did do the dirty with me like we did do that the woman told savannah that they hadn't been messaging or seeing each other before this night but savannah soon discovered more about the situation so like yesterday i was crying i was sad Today, I am mad. Everything, every intuition I've ever felt is just so true. Number one, she is not a girl's girl. She 100% knew, saw my photo, knew I was there, knew who I was. He didn't come home last night and left his car. And my mind's racing 100,000 times and I don't know where he could be, what he's doing. Tell me why he got them a hotel on Clearwater Beach last night. I looked her up. Oh, I looked her up. Um, I saw that she posted photos of them together at the beach, which is crazy. If that's only your second, your second time hanging out, and she's already comfortable posting photos of you guys on Facebook. Let's go over our, the lessons we have to talk about here. Number one, she said that she paid for a lawyer for his kids. That's flag number one. Number two, she was lit. I didn't show this part, but she, he was living with her and he didn't have a lot of money. She kicked him out and he only had a hundred dollars to his name. Flag number two, you're living with the woman. Flag number three, she said it herself. They've obviously been hanging out for a very long time and you did not know, which tells me he was using you. The things should have came up. And for the last one, y'all are shacking up doing the dirty outside of marriage. Let's break these down. Number one she paid for the lawyer for his kids right so what happened is they were friends at some point and i didn't show this part either but they were friends they were dated in high school broke up and 10 years in between them getting back together which you see this all the time if you live in your hometown this is normal people get with each other after 10 years and not even knowing each other or being friends she ends up paying for a lawyer for his kids uh men <clears throat> You should not be getting with a woman for her to do that for you. If you cannot do this for yourself, you don't need to be doing this stuff in a relationship. I understand we all fall on hard times, but this is not your wife. She does not need to be paying for you. She is your girlfriend. You need to be handling this stuff yourself. You need to have your own place. You need to be doing your own thing. She is not your wife. There is a freaking difference between a wife and a girlfriend. And too many people are treating girlfriends like wives and too many girls are treating um boyfriends like husbands you do not have to help them do anything y'all are simply dating y'all should be providing for yourselves okay when marriage comes y'all can talk about that you can go from there but until then there's no obligations to help these people there's no obligation to provide for anybody it's number thing the second thing i was saying 
he lives with you. I don't know if I said this two or number three, but it doesn't matter. He lives with you and he doesn't have enough money to get his own place. But yeah, he's out here taking other girls out and cheating and everything. Girl, he was using you. You know, he was using you. Bad, bad luck. Shacking up, living with each other, doing the dirty and you're not even married. Bad, bad sign. And clearly, like I said before, he was dating this girl for a long time. Guys, this is why you don't shack up with people before you get married as well. Because this is what it leads to. It leads to somebody doing something maybe you don't like or you decide it's not going to work out. And now this other person has nowhere to go because they were living with you. That is not how boyfriends and girlfriends should act. You live at your place. They live at their place. You, or one of you or both of y'all live with y'all's parents until y'all can both get married, get your own little home, get your own little apartment. I understand housing crisis. I get it. Getting a home is not as easy as it once was. You can get a little bitty mini apartment. Do what you can. Too many people are so quick to want to get into this whole, oh, I want to shack up to see what it's like to live with them. <sighs> listen, listen, people, you're not going to know nothing. OK, I promise you that now. People are always going to act good in a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship because it's a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. When you get married, things change because boyfriend and girlfriends can break up so easily. And so people will act as good as they can in a relationship until they're married and then they become their true selves. We see it happen all the time. That's why you see some people who get married. After dating for eight, nine years, and then they get married and it immediately ends in a divorce. Why? Because people change in marriage. That's when people become their true selves. So don't do it. Don't do the dirty before marriage. Don't be having sex before marriage. Don't be shacking up before marriage. Just wait. It'll happen. Okay, it'll all come together. I understand we all want to give in to our pleasures. We all want to give in to what society tells us is good. But you don't have to do that. Okay, now, you never know when somebody's going to cheat on you, okay? Moving everything aside, I'm assuming she doesn't believe in what any of the stuff I just said. So let's just go from another standpoint. You don't know when somebody's going to cheat on you. But in this story, she does mention that she herself had already been cheated on before. Which is why she had the location on. Which is why he got caught at the hotel at 4 in the morning. At four, don't you got to go to work in the morning? I mean, 4.30? Anyway. So that's how she finds out where this could have been a weekend, to be fair. So that's how she finds out. So she is already paranoid about somebody cheating on her. And then she has to feel like they have to turn on the location so she knows where they're at at all times. Just to feel like she can't, so she won't get cheated on. Girl, yes, you need to take some time to figure out what you're doing. You need to vet people a little bit longer. Okay. This person had two kids without you. Probably had two kids outside of marriage. This is just not a good man to get with. You can get somebody better. I get it. Living in your hometown, your your options are limited. But don't, and I hate saying this word because it's not really settling. But I do want to say this. I feel like you could have done better. I could be wrong, though. I don't know you as a person. You may be awful yourself. So I could be saying this and both of y'all suck. But I'm just going to go on your side because that's the way that this story was portrayed. And that's how we're going to go after it. Another thing, he was dating this girl for a while and you didn't even know about it. Clearly, they've been together for a while. And I hate the thing that she says she wasn't a girl's girl. Hang that shit up. Hang it up. Can you? Re she said, can you respect the girl's code and know that? The Hang that up. OK, y'all got to quit doing this whole you got to be a girl's girl. No, you need to be a human human. OK, a human's human. It's not girl code, bro code, all that shit. You treat a human with respect. And if I know somebody was dating somebody, clearly I would never go after them out of respect. Not because of the bro code, not because of none of that shit, because that's stupid. That's high school stuff. Girl's girl. Why would you even say something like that? That's only. Yeah, you need some maturing to do. Do you think that a girl will respect you because of the girl's code? Ain't nobody give a fuck about that. If they want to date somebody, they're going to do it. OK, if they want to cheat. They're going to cheat. This ain't about no girl's code. This ain't about being a girl's girl. She don't care nothing about you. She ain't never going to care nothing about you. She could care less about you. She probably going to get cheated on herself because this does not look like a good man. Hang that up. Don't ever think a girl is on your side because she's a woman. Women, <laughs> men, women, we don't care about each other like that. If the person doesn't have a decency for you for just being a human being and humanity, don't think there's going to be any bro code or girl code. Okay, that's high school shit. That's college shit. You're a grown ass woman. Grow the fuck up. Sorry, I had to give it to you harsh, but I'm just having to be honest. Okay, so 
what can we learn from everything we saw here? Well, like I said, don't do the dirty. Don't uh, don't shack up before marriage. Another, another thing, if a man is using you for your money and says you need to, it says he needs you to help him with his kids or anything like that. Stay out of the relationship. He's not ready to be in a relationship with you yet. In the case that he ever does have to be the provider, he couldn't even if he wanted to. My suggestion, stay away. Again, don't let somebody live with you. If they can't afford their own place, don't live with them. That goes back to the shacking up thing. And one more thing. Do not show up to a hotel where these people are. You'll get your head blown off that way, girl. Don't ever show up to a hotel and try to confront people. People, when it's a love triangle, people get crazy. And then you try to follow her to her house. That's craziness. Okay. Yes. I Even though I disagree with in this, I'm only knowing your story. But yeah, she shouldn't have been comfortable with you going to her house, especially when you know she's cheating. You should not. There's no way on earth you should know where she lives. That is fair. It's all a mess. It's all disgusting, girl. I hope your life is going better. I hope you found a better man or I hope you're I wouldn't say focusing on myself because sometimes people use that too much to just be selfish. But I will say this. I do hope your life is going better. Please don't make any more TikToks about cheating. If you get cheated on again, do not make another TikTok. Don't make another reel. Don't make a YouTube video. Deal with that shit yourself. You're a grown ass woman. Once again, nobody needs to be a part of that. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.